Maria is in the initial stages of dismantling the iconic pier that was destroyed by Hurricane Irma. Considered one of the biggest attractions on the Sun Coast, the demolition is bittersweet for many who have enjoyed the views for years. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo is live on Anna Maria with more. Dwayne. Well, Jacqueline, the pier was built back in 1911, making it more than 100 years old. After it's demolished, a new state-of-the-art pier will take its place, and officials say it will be well worth the wait. A restaurant and a bait shop that was once connected to the pier is now gone. When you look out at the vista and it's not there anymore, the buildings aren't there anymore, it's, it's kind of frightening. One by one, planks are being removed. The pier fenced off as construction workers demolished what is considered the heart of Anna Maria. And all of a sudden to not have it there, it's, it's really kind of devastating. Anna Maria Mayor Dan Murphy is feeling bittersweet, but says he feels good about knowing what will be there in the long run. With renderings of what the new pier will look like, he says it will be a solid structure with strong planks and concrete pilings that will last another 100 years. It's a project Murphy says for officials was a lot of hard work. Uh, the finances of that pier, the construction itself, the logistics of doing the construction, the logistics of getting uh, the ability to do the, uh, the demolition itself. The entire demolition process is expected to be completed in the first week of August. Then rebuilding the pier will cost an estimated $4.5 million, funded by the Manatee County Tourist Development Council, the City of Anna Maria, and others. And we have a couple of other options from FEMA and other agencies, as well as the federal government, to get funding on a historical basis so that we can complete the project. Longtime resident Carol Carter says although it's an eyesore now, the upgrade to the pier will attract more than it ever did before. People are looking forward to what it will be like. Um, we're, you know, we want immediate gratification. We want it there yesterday, of course, and back and operating and being able to go out to the restaurant and to fish off the pier, etc. But I think it, it will be well worth waiting for. Now the project is expected to be completed by December of 2019, so residents will have to wait another year and a half before they get their beloved pier back. Reporting live on the north end of Anna Maria Island, Duane Lindo, your Suncoast News.